Keith K. Silvers are hard to find today, people. But Dr. No, here at the honey hole, he found one. <laughs> we got a rosy. And I think that's the second rosy Dr. No has. Is that correct, Dr. No? <laughs> yes, he said. <laughs> Stand by. Keith K here at the honey hole. And uh, boy, it's been a tough hunt today. Finally, Miss Mercury. Looking pretty good, lady. I am so glad to have it. And uh, Dr. No's out here. He's got a few, I know that. But it's been a struggle. Beautiful day. Thank you, Miss Mercury. I'll check and see if you were sleeping with anybody. Stamma. Well, you struggle all day. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, there's another beautiful Mercury dime. I might have matching, matching years. It looks like a 1935. On with the hunt. I'm happy. All day long we, we were digging and digging and digging. Finally some silver. How cool is this, people? <laughs> Wrapping up the day. Find this medallion. When you can find a medallion that has your own initial on it, how badass are you? <laughs> I'm badass. Stand by. Keith K. I had to go down about six inches for it. <laughs> and sometimes I even surprise myself. But hey, we've been known to take a few barber quarters out of here. There it is, people. Let's go down on that puppy. Looks like 1915. Should clean up nice. I'm loving it. Three silvers today. It's a good hunt. Excellent hunt. Stand by. Keith K. Tailgate wrap up. Dr. No. <laughs> Another outstanding day for Dr. No. Three Roosevelt dimes. Two Mercury dimes. One flat button. Two rings. This puppy says uh, gold filled. That's a shame. That would have been nice. And then he has a, probably a silver when he gets it all cleaned up. And he also has a religious medallion. But <laughs> a late afternoon rally. Uh, trust me, I was digging, I was digging like crazy and could not find the good silver. And then at the afternoon rally, Mercury Dime, Mercury Dime, Barber Quarter. Awesome dig. <laughs> Stand by. Okay, finishing the tailgate, Silver Sue. She didn't get on board today, but hey, the girl was digging. <laughs> Let fun. me tell you, I had fun. you always have fun, Silver Sue. We got two junk rings. One has a little heart on it. Looks pretty good. And uh, the the uh, the digs of silver was hard to find. But look at you. You're getting spoons and forks. <laughs> you had some good digs, Sue. So. Yeah, it was all right. I had fun. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to you. I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Keith K here. Home from the hunt. Wrapping it all up. Ah, oh, what a great weekend it was in Pittsburgh. The weather on Saturday was 65 degrees. Yesterday it hit, I think, 50. And it was just two beautiful days of hunting. And yesterday, um, my friends joined up. Dr. No, Silver Sue, and we hit the honey hole. Um, just to update you on the honey hole, we don't go back that often anymore. Um, it's a very tough hunt, very tough. And uh, where there's a lot of wandering around. <laughs> but 
like any place it's not hunted on where you still find silver and yesterday was no exception um, gonna go ahead and uh, show you some of the things that we also pulled from the honey hole um, down here <laughs> when you find a medallion that has a K on it you should keep that <laughs> I'm going to and this here is some sort of a, a key I don't know that long thing there um, I don't know what kind of key, but it, it's, it's just a strange, a strange piece. I was digging a lot of nickels yesterday. Only a few quarters turned up. Like I say, it's hard to find the, the high tones. But this was crazy because this was a surface find. Now there's somebody that's walking around with a 49-year-old coin in their pocket. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, just amazing. Um, bunches of dimes, bunches of pennies, Lincolns, total of two hundred or two dollars and forty cent plant. This thing here, I could have called. I could have called. I think I did call a live dig um, for a Canadian penny. This thing was screaming and uh, down six inches. I was really disappointed it wasn't silver. This here. Um, I guess we all find them. I call them silver nuggets. These things ring up great. Just uh, you, you would think it was silver. Um, good tones to them. It's just a whole bunch of melted stuff, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but we go over here. Ten wheat pennies. Um, 40s and 50s. And to the finds of the day. That beautiful barber quarter. Denver Mint Mark, Century Coin, glad to have dug that one, and uh, you know what, that's the coin of the day, then a couple of Mercury Dimes, we can get down there on those years, I think one's a 39, and uh, never mind, <laughs> anyhow, needless to say, great day at the Honey Hole, um, <coughs> Dr. No had a wonderful day as well and we'll go back but um, we don't hunt it that often anymore the uh, <laughs> it, it's getting it's getting low so <laughs> what can I say listen thanks for watching detecting the bird um, it, it's just a, a pleasure to get out in February and, and do some digging at the honey hole in two years time we have pulled over 500 silver coins so you got to know that <laughs> there's not that many left uh, I wouldn't think but it's never hunted on stamma